Welcome everyone, friends and family who have traveled to be with Matthew and Brooke today. We thank you for being here to share this special day. First met Matt over 10 years ago through a mutual friend, Richie. One night, a group of us guys decided to go out to a house party. After the evening's festivities, Matt and I were hungry and thought it would be a great idea to walk over to the Jimmy John's and grab a late night sub. <laughs> As I'm sure most of you know, Matt is the type of person where if you have a one-on-one -on -one with him, it's extremely easy to have a very deep and meaningful conversation with. So there we are, walking the streets of Eastside Milwaukee at 1 a.m., eating a Jimmy John sub, talking about life aspirations and core values. <laughs> See, my father once told me, only a handful of your friends from high school will carry on with you into the future, but the friends you make in college will be with you for the rest of your life. And so, in that exact moment, we both looked at each other and knew from this point on that we would be close friends for the rest of our lives. Over the next handful of years, Matt traveled from state to state, exploring the cultures of the U.S. and finding his true calling in life. He eventually landed himself in California and met a woman there. Matt let us know, as friends, that he's been dating this person and believes he found the one. Naturally, as friends, we all chose to not believe him. <laughs> since he lives in a completely different state, and we've never actually met this so-called Brooke person before. <laughs> Fast forward to 2018, leading up to my very own wedding. Matt RSVPs for not just himself, but also a plus one, being Brooke. I figured, eh, I guess I'll find out if she's real or not. <laughs> Lo and behold, the day before my wedding day, checking into the hotel, Brooke walked straight up to me, very aggressively, might I add, <laughs> to introduce herself. Brooke is beside herself, screaming and laughing as Matt is behind her, laughing as well. I bring this moment up because not only was this the first time that I ever met Brooke in person, but it also said a lot to me about who she is. Brooke is outgoing, compassionate, thoughtful, loving, and also very easy to talk to. But most of all, she can play along with Matt's shenanigans. <laughs> Matt, being the person he is, will make a game out of anything given the opportunity. And so the fact that Brooke played along with his schemes to surprise me about that she does indeed exist speaks volumes of the relationship that they have already built together. I know that Brooke is the right person for you, Matt, because inside Matt's hard exterior is also a compassionate, thoughtful, loving, and trustworthy person. It may not be easy to get there, but Brooke is able to do that on a regular basis. So five years later, I stand here beside Matt and Brooke on their own very wedding day. Little did I know, on that night, walking the streets of Eastside Milwaukee, eating a Jimmy John sub, that I would have the honor to marry Matt to the love of his life here today in the state of California. Life has its ways of throwing curveballs and taking you places you never thought of. I believe the important thing about this is that you find that person you're willing to go on this ride called life together and inevitably grow together. Matt and Brooke, you have undoubtedly found that person in one another and I am grateful to be a part of your lives and here today. Without further ado, who's ready to see Matt and Brooke get married?
Good evening, everyone. Brooke, you look amazing. Matt, you're a lucky man. Don't mess this up. <laughs> I also want to thank everybody who was able to contribute for this wedding to be happening. And I also want to thank everybody for not being afraid of a little bit of rain. <laughs> for those of you who don't know me, my name is Richie. Matt and I have been best friends going all the way back to high school. Some of the reasons we became so close is because we come from similar family backgrounds. We love fantasy baseball, and at the time we both worked in retail. During these college years, I had a lot of up and downs. There was times where I felt I just wanted to run away from reality, and Matt was always there for me. These moments naturally would occur when I'm studying for an exam or I was dealing with my many family drama that I have that often occur late at night. For anyone that knows Matt, Matt will take your words as gospel. So at 3 a.m. when I tell him I want to run away and just go anywhere, maybe even like Chicago, Matt says, yep, get in the car, we're going. So that's exactly what we did. We got in the car at 3 a.m. and went to the bad parts of Chicago. <laughs> we still joke today that we never got shot or robbed and it's a miracle. It's these spur of the moment conversations and adventures and you being there for when I needed you the most that makes you such a great friend. And I would tell me there's this girl that's just so easy to talk to and it was like she was becoming his best friend. Me being his true best friend though, found this a little skeptical. So I was like, this clearly can't be a woman, it must be a man. So, so I was like, this girl can't be named Brooke, it's gotta be Brian. So naturally when I meet Brooke for the first time, I say, oh hi Brian, it's finally nice to meet you. Brooke didn't bat an eye, she just played along and she changed my name from Richie to Regina. <laughs> it was in this moment that I realized, oh wow, this girl is the one for Matt. <laughs>
Over the years, Brooke has become more like a part of my family. In almost three decades of friendship, you can imagine we've shared some pretty big moments. Graduations, first apartments, and now weddings. But when I was thinking about writing this speech and reflecting on all of our memories, it was the small, at the time, seemingly insignificant moments that I had the most fun thinking about. Taking turns driving my dad's car around the block when we were first learning how to drive. <laughs> Almost getting kicked out of Disneyland because Brooke assured me that it would be totally fine for me to use her friend's season pass. <laughs> they don't even check, she said. <laughs> Going wine tasting for the first time, and Brooke saying that all the red wine tasted like gasoline. And I forgot my ID. Yeah, and she forgot her ID. <laughs> <laughs> Staying home sick together from school and watching the horror movie version of Snow White. Do you remember that? <laughs> These are the moments that have made our friendship special. Brooke, you are truly one of the most loyal, most giving, and genuine people that I know. When Brooke loves, she loves with her whole heart. For as long as we have been friends, you have always been caring for others, for your family, your friends, making sure everyone else is okay before thinking of yourself. In Matt, you have found someone who loves you deeply, who comforts and grounds you, who challenges you to chase your dreams, and who cares for you the way you care for everyone else. As a couple, you've been tested, and you have shown that you can be each other's source of safety and security when external circumstances are stressful and uncertain. I hope that you and Matt cherish and truly appreciate the big moments, trips to Greece, this beautiful wedding, one day buying your first house. But what I want most for you is to savor the smaller moments, cuddling up with Nella together after a bad night at work, you calling Matt from Palm Springs in tears because there's a random girl in the house and you're too nice to tell her you want her to leave. <laughs> Visiting Wisconsin during the polar vortex. <laughs> because those are the moments that make your relationship special. The moments that only you two can truly understand and appreciate. To Mr. and Mrs. Morris, congratulations. <laughs> From the moment I met you, I knew you'd be in my life forever. I saw us being lifelong friends, and little did I know that you'd one day be my husband and true life partner. It's amazing to see who we've become together and how we have evolved in the past five years. I admire how you naturally connect with people and care about their life experiences. I love how you are persistent and motivated to create the life that we talk about. And most of all, I love seeing you with our dog, Nella, because I know you will be an amazing father to our children one day. Thank you for always kissing me when you come home, for protecting me, 
And most importantly, thank you for always making me laugh and be who I am. I feel that I've become a stronger woman with the confidence I've always dreamed of because of being with you. I promise to always love you for who you are, respect you for the man you are and the man you will become. I promise to challenge you to links you didn't know. I promise to really listen to you and give you my attention. I promise to always stand by you when you're feeling down and navigate this life together as a team. I promise to keep you grounded, including when you win or lose fantasy baseball. <laughs> I promise to always support your dreams because your happiness is my happiness. I promise to not let your work or outside stress, oh sorry, our work. <laughs> I promise to not let our work or outside stress take the focus from our relationship. I promise to stand by you during the rough times knowing we are better and stronger together. I'm so excited for our future together and it feels amazing knowing that I'm standing right where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> Come storm or hurricane, I'll forever dance in the rain with you. I love you. <laughs> look back on this week and we see the beauty within this story and we share the ups the downs but we stand here today the moments of excitement and the moments of perceived disappointment as the moments in which we came together it is those moments that we have shared together that ring as a reminder of our love not only this week but since we have truly known love as I look back on five years together I see so much growth and so much more opportunity ahead of us. I see a partnership that can light up a room and a partnership that can calm the storm. You stole that. <laughs> to always cherish our moments of connection, to detach from the reality and allow it to just be us. I vow to always consider you before I act, and I mean that. <laughs> <clears throat> I vow to keep our dreams a priority while continuing to challenge us both to be the best versions of ourselves. And lastly, I vow to love you even when time stops and it's time to go home.
I wrote this fabulous speech, and then I saw Nella, the dog, running out the door with it in her mouth, and I chased her into the rain, and she was gone, and so was the speech, but I don't need that piece of paper. Her entire life, Brooke has made things happen. Whatever she desired, she brought it into reality. When she was maybe four or five years old, she was watching ice skaters on TV, and she was mimicking their moves, and she was spinning in the carpet, and I was like, wow, she wants to, wants to ice skate. We went to Baskin Robbins, and there was a flyer on the counter, and she grabbed it, and she handed it to me, and it was, it was figure skating classes down the street. So I enrolled her in figure skating. She was a fabulous figure skater. You probably still are, but how often do we get to ice skate in Las Vegas? Uh, <laughs> on to varsity cheerleading at her high school, then competitive cheer, and then finally moving to L.A. to uh, be a member of the Second City troupe for I don't know, four or five years. She took acting and singing. Uh, classes and did all those zany Hollywood auditions and appeared in some commercials and music videos and she met Matt. Now I don't remember the first time I met Matt but I remember the second time it was here at the Hotel Dell and we were having brunch over in the in the crown room where we were having the the uh, ceremony earlier and I remember looking at Matt going he looks like Mr. July in one of those fireman's calendars or something like that. There must be something wrong with him. <laughs> but he turned out great, and I'm so happy that Matt and Brooke moved back to Vegas, and they're right down the street from us. One night, Brooke was at work, and Matt texted me and said, I have a question I want to ask you. Can I come by the house? And I'm thinking, what? Is he? No. <laughs> and Matt came over and he asked me <laughs> for permission to propose to Brooke. <laughs> and I thought, man, this guy just gets better and better. <laughs> what, a, what a class act. That, that really was mm, well done. I uh, am so impressed by you as a couple, and I've watched Brooke grow. I've seen Matt grow. The world is your oyster. Everything is possible. I've heard your ideas for the future, and it's amazing. I'd like to just wind it up by quoting President John Kennedy in his speech to Rice University in 1962. We choose to be here today to witness this wedding of Brooke and Matt. We choose to have a wedding in the face of a hurricane, not because it is easy, but because it is hard. I love you guys.
wanted to thank all of you for being here this weekend. Um, it's been a ride and we finally we're together and we really enjoyed what we just experienced. Yeah. And all of you tonight are part of that experience. I want you to have a great time. You should do everything you can to come up and say hello to us. And if we get dragged away, come grab us, drag us away from another couple. Um, we're here f with you guys. And that was our priority with this wedding, was to spend time with all of you and to remember this night with each other. So please have fun. And again, thank you so much to our families, to our friends, uh, to just all of you. Thank you so yes. much. Yeah. Um, yeah, I love you. <laughs> Sorry. I love you all so much. And I'm so thankful for all the new friends I have made because of Matt. And um, I just can't believe you all made it. Like, <laughs> so um, I'm very thankful. Uh, and yeah, again, I love you all. And I'm so excited to have so much fun with you tonight. <laughs> Um, so thank you for being here and celebrating with us during this hurricane. <laughs> Love you. Thank you. <laughs>